in 2022 was an okay year for me. It challenged me. It drove me crazy and it had me questioning a lot of things in life. That was 2022 for me. I've been working all day. Can I catch a break? Keep a pretty brown girl her space. You can keep your better. I'ma make a better way. Hey, hey. All right, guys, good morning. So I think I'm going to do like an update video with more of a vlog-like setting because I'm going to update you guys on my 2022 first video of the year. And it's going to roll into 2023. So it's going to be like different updates throughout the day because I don't talk much in my videos. Maybe that's why I don't have any followers or subscribers because I don't talk much. So 2023, you guys gonna see a lot of my face and talking, but there's so many like cool story turns I have, um, and there's just been things like in my life that's going on, new things that's gonna happen in 2023. So I just wanna get you guys updated. I also wanna get like into my camera, um, more comfortable with my channel. So. I'm gonna call this channel the 2023 of change. Uh, maybe not the name of my channel, but like what I'm trying to do. Anyway, I am currently watching. And I have a kid. So I'll hit you guys back some other day. The thing I wanna tell you guys on these videos is you're gonna get a lot of me looking regular. Because I watch like some of these girls' videos because I'm trying to get it's like the camera to somebody. But I'm trying to get used to being in the camera. So I'd be like, what do the girls do to make themselves be able to just sit in the camera and tell their stories or have good makeup and hair videos and like all around good contacts. Some of the con content. Sorry, some of the girls that I see on YouTube have very good content. I have good ways of keeping people in their videos. So, um, I just don't have the time to get do makeup every day, all day. Um, so, I'm going to do what I can. Uh, and I think a natural look of me is really pretty. Uh, my confidence for myself is a lot. It took me a lot to be this confident. Um, and that's something you'll get in the story time or learn more in my videos about me. Um, I guess I can like start my update. I don't know. Yeah. McDonald's has it where you have to sit for a minute, so you have to like sometimes your food's not ready, so they drive through it together where you can pull up and just look and go around. Starbucks is not, it's like like want you to sit and wait for your drink, or they pride themselves on being done before you get to like pay for it. Because every time I try to like do a taste and drink of my drink before I leave. I never can because the car behind me is always up next. So I gotta order and I'll hit you back. Okay, so yeah, first of all, I need to work on the side of my car to put my car on because trying stuff in the car with no phone thing is very hard. So I got a caramel macchiato. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but that's what I got. Um, I added the crunch and some extra drizzle because I'm a sweet bitch. And I like shit sweet. This is the first time I've tried uh, anything hot from 
Starbucks. I quickly forgot where I was at. Um, yeah. um, me and my wife usually stick to what we know, which is the the caramel ribbon frappe. They're very good, but it's also very cold at this moment. So I'm tired of drinking cold drinks. So I thought I'd try something hot. That's not bad at all. This is actually like, it's like the hot version of my cold drink. This is really good. And it's a carry, it's a caramel macchiato, whatever. I'm not even gonna keep trying to say it. And another trick to making your drinks great at Starbucks is don't get whole milk. Um, get sweet cream, sweet vanilla cream. Makes it taste a whole lot different whole lot better, especially for you people who are. Alright, so update. My dad, once he moved in here, they got a little tight. Um, and then, probably a couple of weeks into my dad moving in, my kids got like, yes, people, we can get like, and I did not know it. So for a minute, like, they were telling us they had bugs in their hair, and I don't know if that makes me feel like an awful parent, you know. Because I was told as a kid that we, people of color, could not get life because of the products we had in our hair. But anyways, I get a phone call from school telling me that my kids have lights. Now, the conversation with me and the nurse was really weird because I wanted to make sure she was talking about my kids because, again, I assumed that colored people could not get lice which now i know they can you can get lice and if you've ever seen a picture or a video maybe yeah. with my kids in it they had dreads and maybe they were like down here and my youngest had a little bit back behind her back so they my oldest so they had been growing the dreads probably about four years now so I had to tell them. Well, I, I, first of all, I want y'all to know how to get out. I got up to my wife. Because she was the one that did the, did the, the whole life, the bottle, like the wash, the pick them out. She was the one that did it. And that happened to cut that dress. I did not cut their dreads, it was just too much. They worked hard, like, I remember when I cut my dreads off and it was like I had a life in because I it was going through a depression. So I cut my dreads off and it was just hard boy. Going them back was never the same. And it's a lot, especially when you work hard for your dreams, like, yeah. So yeah, my kids got lights and we had to Disposed of everything in their room, and y'all, we had to uh, just. I've never seen like things so disgusting. Pulling them out, we had to cut their hair short. Uh, just this year was really rough for me. Um, on top of that, there was just like other things going on at home. And I had to quit my job because my dad moved in and he's 24 hour care. Like, someone has to keep an eye on him all day. And my wife left the school most of the day, so my kids have to go to school and they can't watch it. So I had to quit my job and come and stay home, which is my first success in, in itself. Because that. Taking care of your father, taking care of any parent, any family member that is not your child and that is grown. It's ridiculous. Like, y'all, but that is more of a detail. I'll say for a story time another time. But, anyways, that's my update so far. First video 2023. Um, hopefully, I'll have in like the next couple of days my. What I'm leaving behind in 2022 uh, video up. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.